All right. Hello, everyone. This is SRC543. Big baseball fan. I'm really excited about the re release of Backyard Baseball 97. Uh, one of the things I was excited about was uh, getting to play as the NPC characters that you normally can't use in regular gameplay without a little bit of editing. So that's not built into the game, but it's actually still possible to do that. And you can kind of see that in this clickbaity team photo that will be in the thumbnail. So this is, uh, this is the result. Let me show you the steps to get there. So first of all, we're going to need to locate our coach file and our save. So I'm in the Windows C folder. Uh, sorry if your directories are different on your computer uh, or if you're using a Mac or something, but I'll show you what I have right here. First, you're going to need to go to your view options and Windows Explorer and make sure your hidden items are enabled because this is not going to be a regularly visible file. And we'll go to users. SRC543, that's me. And then app data. This is the hidden file I'm talking about. The uh, local load directory. And finally, we'll be going to the publisher Megacat Studios in Backyard Baseball 1997. Another subdirectory here. And we have a couple of coach files here. So I will go to the one for here. All the juicy stuff here will be to the right of this roster equals value. And this is from my uh, Mr. Clanky team right here. And copying this value in my tool, it will show you all the values of the players on the team, uh, both batting and pitching, as well as some of the team's attributes, its name, all-stars, color, wins, losses, all that jazzy stuff. So that's all in good. Uh, for those unfamiliar with backyard baseball hacking, there's some weird stuff you can do with it. You can actually use the same player multiple times, which sounds really good, but they all use the same stamina bar. So uh, a little bit of diminishing returns if you want to use Pablo Sanchez for all nine of your slots. He's going to get a little tired. Though Mr. Clanky, he's an exception. He has infinite stamina, which is very useful for <laughs> making a meme team like this. What else? Also, uh, defense and batting order are actually separate. So if you wanna if you wanna put a couple Ernie steals on defense here, you can. And then I don't know, put Pablo Sanchez in his hitter spot. And you can do that if you want to. Uh, I have an editor both for just choosing the batters, but if you really want to get cheeky, I also have an editor here if you want to choose the offense and defense. Also for this utility, it also shows you a lot of important character attributes that are hidden from the game. You can look this up in the roster's 1997 spreadsheet from uh, Yuria and some others. I have I'll have the link of that spreadsheet to a, in a few spots. It's really useful for player evaluation. Also looking up NPC stats as well. So you can, I have that spreadsheet, the 97 spreadsheet here if you need it. You can look up uh, some OP NPCs if you want. So, all right, let's, let's get onto that. So who, who's really good? Who are some good NPCs? I haven't played in a while. I think Xenon's good. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Wally's probably fine. I don't know, I'll, I'll just choose some people with cool names and hope they're good. Shane Smith, Robbie Baco, that's my boy. Unfortunately, I'm not like a tournament player, so I'm not actually familiar with a lot of these people. I think there's like a, a J. Yeah, I think J Green's like a total stud. I, I remember that name. It's been a while since I've seen some of these other peeps, though. Mary Ra Oh, Star Moonbeam, the 100 speed goat. 
I don't know. I'll just... Debbie Nagasawa? I don't know. Throw her in there. And uh, we got to have Mr. Clanky in here at least once, so let's add him. All right, so we got our team, our NPCs. Mr. Clanky with a bunch of hundreds, but his coordination's bad. Jay Green's got just about everything except a uh, batting eye, and he doesn't have a, much of a right hook, but 100 left hook and 90 heat. And he's got 100 coordination for that great fielding. So, all right, we, we got our NPCs. Uh, I also have a little thing here. Uh, there's a there's like a there's a value here that I don't really know what it does, so I'm just leaving that at AA. We can actually change our the name of our team and stuff through here. So we will be the Junior Fishes now, and our team name team color will be brown. And also we're zero and fifteen for some reason. Actually, we're zero and zero and thirty. Let let's see what that does. So, all right, we got all of our team values. Let's copy that. And let's go to the coach2 file, my second file, so I don't mess with my team of Mr. Clankies. I'll paste that in next to the roster equals sign and save the document. Let's go home and read that file and see how it looks. Uh, the NPCs don't have, uh, their own <laughs> pictures, so I'm expecting to see a lot of Tony Dovecchio's here. Yep. Yep, we got Tony Dovecchio as the... <laughs> as the filler picture here. Uh, I don't know if we really want to meet the team here or anything. Yeah, Meet the Players is going to be pretty glitchy here, so I recommend just using the editor on the spreadsheet instead. Sorry, it'll be a little, there'll be a little bit of trickiness because of, uh, these don't actually line up, so if you're having trouble with that, maybe use the all editor, even if it's a little bit of extra clicking. And yeah, you got a bunch of NPCs. Once we start the game, it'll actually look normal. Yep. There's Mr. Clanky there. He's doing his thing. Give him the heat. I wanted to show off the batters, so it's kind of unfortunate that I'm the home team, but here's everyone in all their brown glory. And that's the team editor. It's not perfect, but hopefully, even if you're not too familiar with hacking, this should really get you going and be able to use the players you want. Be sure to reference that as spreadsheet so you can find any NPCs you like with cool names or good attributes. And oh right, in order to use this spreadsheet, it's read only, so make sure to go to file and either make a copy or you can download it and actually open it up in Microsoft Excel. And I'll actually have the same functionality. All right, this is SRC543. I hope you found this video helpful and have fun hacking, and if you don't, I hope you're enjoying Backyard Baseball 97. Thanks, and goodbye.